What's up, everybody? We're doing another Supreme Draft on Magic Online. The set is Modern Horizons. Before we get started, NordVPN, if you guys are looking for internet security, if you guys are looking for a VPN to get a, add a little more security to your computer or to any of your devices, definitely check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. You can get, two, I was going to say 20, <laughs> that's, that's Mana Traders, 68% off for a two-year subscription and one month free. So uh, it's a great deal. It helps support the channel. Uh, they have an awesome product, and you guys should definitely check that out with the link below. And, uh, let's hop into this queue. Oh, Jesus, what's happening right now? Altar of... Oh, we're definitely starting with the Battle Screech, right? That feels correct. But then what else? But then what else? Snow-covered swamp, perhaps? Hmm. Okay. I'm game. He headless specter. I was gonna say headless specter, but then I was like, wait, wait now. Uh, whenever headless specter deals damage, combat damage to a player, if you have no cards in hand, that player discards a card at random. Okay, so it basically turns into a hypnotic specter if you have no cards. Cool. Conifer worm is actually bananas. Yikes. Is it just frostwall a conifer worm? Jeez. Jeez. Nothing. There's no great white cards in this pack, so I'm not feeling terrible about passing the battle screech. I think I have to take Conifer Room. I think Frostwall is just super strong. Merit Lage's Slumber. What do you got here? Uh, when, it, when it or another snow permanent enters the battlefield under your control, scry one. If you control ten or more snow permanents, sacrifice it. Hmm. Oh yeah, we're 100% going for Merit Lage's Slumber right now. I'm taking every Snow Permanent I see within reason. This guy's also very good. Like, it's just an 8-8 as long as you have a land in your graveyard. Hunter, stop. He's just, like, sitting back there licking. He's just lick, lick, licking away. We're taking this guy. We're just taking Big Fatty's dot deck here. Oh, Twisted Reflection is pretty good, yeah. It's just a removal spell, but I mean, the black isn't, the Entwine is black. So it's kind of like, if you're not blue-black, it's not as good, for obvious reasons. Um, I almost like Collector Oof, just because it's a 2 for 2 that like shuts off Astrolabes, which I feel like people are picking reasonably high, and it's just a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, Miss Naga Syndicate again, that's pretty cool. Missed Naga Syndicate. Missed Blade Syndicate. I'll get it right. I'm pretty sure we're taking Missed Syndicate Naga. And Snow Covered Island. That's how we live in. Unbound Flourishing. Whenever you cast a permanent spell with a mana cost that contains X, and that's where I stopped reading. Reign of Revelation is phenomenal. I think it's Onerophage and Reign of Revelation. I like Llanowar Tribe a lot. Where are my on-color Snowlands? Counterspell, target player draws two, gain control of the I think it's... God, do you just take one of... Do you just take both of these? <laughs> Uh, that's kind of funny. I'm going to take every snow land that we get. I kind of just want to take both. I think they're both very good. Sure. Oh, look, there's an Ayula again. We're definitely taking this. Maybe we take Iceberg Cancrix. It's also not a defender, so if they don't have a blocker, we can attack and, and cheat in our miss. Or there's an exclude. Ooh, boy. Huh. I 
I don't think it's Ayula. I mean, it's just a two. It's most of the time it's a two two for two. Um, I like exclude and I like Cancrix here. I think those are the two two cards we're looking at. I think it's got to be Cancrix. It's just too good for our deck. And another. This is a snow creature though. I think this one's actually very good. It untaps your blockers and your lands, and we can take Trumpeting Herd as well. Yeah, and if we get more Cancrixes, like, it's just even better. Yeah, we'll take Rhyme Tender and Trumpeting Herd. You heard? Oh, Lightning Skelemental. A classic. I do like Savage Swipe, and I think it's probably Regrowth. I think Regrowth is good when we have a bunch of great permanents. I definitely think it's Savage Swipe. Oh, Snow Covered Forest? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Don't be stupid. Eh, one Mother Bear is pretty good. We have seven more packs? Alright, that's pretty good. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, that's a lot. Let's take Mother Bear. Mother Bear, Mother Bear. I do not have any recursion now. We can't go infinite with Spore Frog. Spore Froggles. Uh, it's just an eye kite. I mean, eye kite's good with Mist Syndicate Naga. I said it right that time. Also, Smoke Shroud's not terrible. This is the same this is the same pack. Yeah, you get two cards out of every pack. It's either Eye Kite or Smoke Shroud. I'm trying to figure out which is like gonna be better with our deck. I think it's actually Smoke Shroud, like giving Saddled Rhyme Stag flying. Plus, like when we play Miss, Sin Miss Syndicate Naga, giving Miss Syndicate Naga flying seems pretty good. What is this? Discard any number of lands. You can put them in any counters and draw them any cards. Eh. I do like another Marasa Behemoth. And a Crows and Tusker, actually. And there's no land in our color, so. Oh, another Cancrix. Oh, Deep Forest Hermit? Oh, yeah. Let's take Deep Forest Hermit for obvious reasons. And another Iceberg Lettuce Cancrix. And Ice Fang Codal. Oh shit, yeah. That was an easy pick. Pondering Mage seems great for us. Another Plains. I, I really hope that like the next three packs have all... Okay, Snow Covered Forest. Good deal. Another Genesis. Excavating Anyard, also pretty sweet, right? You sacrifice a land, you draw a card. And if you have seven more cards in your rear, it gets plus one, plus one Vigilance. That guy's actually just fine. It might just be Genesis. It's either Genesis or I think it's Rhyme Tender. I think it actually might be Rhyme Tender. I'm at a point where I just want, might want to take Swamp, just play the Swamps as Colorless Lands. Which makes Llanowar Tribe and Archmage's Charm really bad. We have two packs after this. So, I mean, we always have a chance to get another one of these. We have four Snow Covereds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have a good amount. I could just take another Rhyme Tender. I mean, it's a good two drop that ramps us to four if we have the snow mana. We could also play like Graveshifter. 
Yeah, I'll just take Grave Shifter. We can get it with a Swamp. Dang it. No Snow Permanence in color or... Uh, actually, we'll take the Astrolabe. Let's take Astrolabe. Maybe Scale Up? Yes! Haha, <laughs> yes! Oh, and a waterlogged grove? But those will seem great for us. What is this guy? If there are three or more creatures in your graveyard, you gain five, so it's just a three, five for five. Yeah, we're just taking snow covered forest and waterlogged grove, which is great with both of our charms. Wow, that was actually a great last pack. All right. So we have 25 cards. We could probably cut Smoke Shroud. I don't know if it's super... I think I think Scallop is good. Take out Smokestag. Take out Mother Bear. How many Snow Permanents do we have right now? I think it's a lot. I... I'm tempted to cut the Archmage's Charm because I think we're heavier green and then like just actually playing the Snow-Covered Swamp just for uh, another source to because Marilage's Slumber seems r really sweet. I mean, even just letting a Scry is pretty good. So I'm thinking of scale up. But maybe like cutting charm. I think we can cut charm. I got a fly that's trying to throw hands with me up in here, like all up in my business. I hear you, buddy. This actually goes in the sixth spot because reasons. And this actually looks pretty good. We have six snow covered forests. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All of our two drops are are snow covered. So that's 15. Uh, 16, 17. Looks like 17 snow permanents. Am I right? Because this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Frostwall is 16. Conifermer is 17. Yeah, that's. Bow body. Bow body. <laughs> uh, sort by color. I'm almost tempted to play Grave Shifter. If this guy was a snow shape shifter, then we'd have a deal. Three. Four. So this is four, five, six, seven versus six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, ten. That actually seems correct. Plus, we have an astrolabe. Because Pondering Mage is the only double blue card we have. Yeah, alright. And we want triple green for the... And I feel like even if we don't hit, like, the, the Merit Lages thing, like, we still just have Tusker, Behemoth, Behemoth, Conifer Worm, Deep Forest Tournament. Like, we still have a really good top end with uh, Scale Up as well, so... Man, blue-green twice in a row. What are, what are we doing? We're making acronyms. Bow body. I'd never figure you for playing Simic, buddy. Yeah, well, you like to branch out, Brett. You know, I like to, I don't want, I don't want to box myself into any particular, any particular strategies. So... Uh, six card sideboard. Okay. Oh.
Man, it's 2020 and Magic Online still doesn't have a spell check. Mulligan. Keep. Snap it off. <sighs> this is tricky. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ship an island. Like I said, we have one double blue card. So, I would rather guaranteed be able to cast this guy. Dude, straight fuck out of here with these hex drinkers, man. Our deck also does not have any efficient way to deal with a fucking turn one hex drinker. I guess I just hope I don't play against the mythical. Yep. Boy, you can't, they can't fucking pump this dude up fast enough. Here we go. Cool. Yep, that'll do. Cool. Cool turn one play. Super sweet. <laughs> now I'm tempted to bring this in. Wow, I made a joke. I was going to make a joke about this and be like, maybe I'll just board it in. <laughs> Down here, salt is a way of life. Winmore.com, why keep saying Hugh Hugh at the end? <laughs> oh, God. Yes, I will play first. I will straight keep. <laughs> it's only the second turn one hex drinker I've faced. So, you know, that's cool. We don't have any benefits to the Snow Covered Forest being in play, but when we have Merit Lage in play, like, they do scry, so it's a little better to hold them, I'd imagine. I mean, unless we draw, like, Frost Wall, it's like, obviously has a benefit. But you would also don't want to stack too many of them, because then, like... So, the other problem is, like, when, like, okay, so Ravnica, like, the Ravnica, the eight Ravnica sets have tons of varied removals and, like, multicolor cards, right? So, like, you have, like, there's probably, like, three pieces of removal in every pack because they're all multicolor. So, there's no way you're just going to take all of them, right? Like, because in traditional Ravnica draft, that's silly. Um, You take the cards in your colors. So, it's nice that in Ravnica Supreme, you get to take whatever you want, basically, because of the, the sweet... uh you know, the colors and things. But, that being the case, Modern Horizons, if you open a bomb like that, like, there's not as much varied removal. If I'm, if I'm blue-green, like, no matter how many packs I open, Winter's Grasp or whatever is still, like, my best option. Yep, I don't think there's any answer for that. This is pretty wild. Actually, I mean, maybe that's too slow. We'll see. Oh, Modern Horizons and Modern Horizons 2 having the same... Uh, yeah, having both packs would be fantastic. Oh, are you just going to... Yeah, sure. Sounds good. I 
I like that. <sighs> Just gonna play Grove here. And we're gonna Reign of Revelation end of turn. Got it. I mean, I think one of the main benefits right now is that we uh, are hitting our land drops and they are not, so. Discard forest. Now we have a land in our graveyard for the Marasa behemoth. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game's going to be over. You, you, you. Real mature winmore.com. Real mature. This is just an 8 8 trample. This is also a very hard card to deal with in this format. Like, there's like three pieces of removal that actually get rid of it. Like, this, there's Settle in White, there's the Winner's, winner's Rest, and there's like Mob. I don't think there's any red cards that get rid of it. I doubt there's any green cards that don't fight that get rid of it. I'm going to keep this and we're going to start with a slumber. I don't think that's going to actually... For fuck's sake, dude. Skill intensive games of magic right here. Like, I don't even want this right now because I want to find charm and. Like, it's never going to matter because they're going to get protection from instant before we can ever do anything. Like, you have to have charm in your hand, like. Like, the window you have to charm this guy. Like, if they play this in the late game... Yeah, cool. So we're just dead. This is fucking amazing. And we also have no plays this turn anyway, so... I'm just gonna concede. Like, I, I'm just not gonna deal with fucking Hex Drinker. Fun games. Fun and interactive games of Magic. Let's make a format where we pick our opponent can play Progenitus on turn one. Ooh. Like, unless you have, like, Pyrophobia in hand. Like, you're just, like, dead to friggin' Hexdrinker. It's hilarious. And it's a mythic. It's a mythic. So, that's cool. It's really just infuriating. Yeah, you have 18 chances to open a hex drinker. It's like opening half a box and hitting one hex drinker, like, right? Like that's pretty much the equivalent stats. This hand is slow, but I'm still going to keep it. I think the cards we have are good. I think unless they go turn one hex drinker, it's probably going to be fine. We have our colors. All the cards we have at the later turns are strong. We can draw a 2-drop, 3-drop, or a 4-drop. Look at all these justifications he's making. All right, no turn one hex drinker. Oh, that's good though. Oh man, that's great. 
Let's draw a 4-drop, then a land. That's all I want to do. This is Supreme Draft Modern Horizons. That is correct. Okay, well... You know what? That's actually pretty good. Still love you. Well, I hope you would, because you killed me, so I don't know why you wouldn't. Yeah, turn one hex drinker was a... Uh, that is some skill-intensive magic right there. I also don't love Supreme Form a single set. I think the... I think it's not varied enough. I love super, I love the Supreme Format. I've been enjoying it a ton recently, but I do think it needs some variation. I'm more of a turn one flex drinker. Do you drink the flex? Cause that's weird, man. Uh, any order, shuffle it. Love it. Oh, they're gonna ninja a fucking fallen shinobi here. Crying out loud. Okay, Ingenious Infiltrator, not as bad as Fallen Shinobi. They know this has Flash, right? Oh, Deep Forest Hermit with scale up? Do we just do we just win that game? I've been alone in this apartment for months now. My content is gonna be B grade at best. <laughs> no. You? No. Uh, that was not my experience, V14. Like, when, when after, after, like, pack 11, I saw, like, two on-color snowlands. Search a library for a card. A creature card. Reveal it and uh, put it in your hand. Actually, this just kills them, right? <laughs> I mean, it's hilarious that they have fucking Fallen Shinobi and they got it with all of Armory's Call, but... You know, what are you gonna do, I guess? They use they, they, they attack with Ice Fang Codal to play the Fallen Shinobi that they got with Elad Omri's call. Real real format. Yep, you got it. Yeah, sure. Frostwall Island. You got it. You have three blockers, so you take six, twelve, eighteen. Yeah, you're, yeah, this should be the game. I can't imagine that, like... <laughs> do 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 Fallen Shinobi ain't got shit on. Scale up. Yes. Yes. Snap it. This is where they go turn one hex drinker, and I'm like, fuck!
Contenders for my dinner sandwich tonight are the barbecue rib, oven roasted chicken, or veggie patty. How are your veggie patties? I actually have no idea. Hey, bro, how are them veggie patties? Well, dang it. Oh, well, that's fascinating to me. I think this guy is better than this. But... We have a Marasa behemoth coming down, so... Okay, Mr. The Tiger. Oh, what up, Thanos? They're great? Really? Interesting. I have never had a Subway Veggie Patty. But knowing they exist... Been lurking for an hour? What a creeper. What a creeper. <laughs> Thanos, hope you're doing well, buddy. Uh... Nah. <laughs> Man, I know you have fallen, Shinobi, dude. Come on. That ain't never happening. Oh, uh, please let me draw a blue. Interesting. Druid. Okay, that makes sense. We played like three of those dudes last game, so. Well, that is the thing. I mean, we all know we're just going to get. We're just going to get Fallen Shinobi out of the game next turn, right? Might just take it. Ooh, do it. That would be sweet. Yeah, nordvpn.org slash Frank Lepore. You get 68% off and a free month, so. You're taking a month off in two weeks? That sounds pretty sweet. You're working from home now though, right? So now you're just going to be living from home. <laughs> I just exist from home for the next month. Yep. Fallen chin over me. Cards are busted. Why do I just... I'm like losing just busted, straight up busted cards that are in Vintage Cube. What is this shitty dude? Oh, that's it? Oh. I mean... That's fine. They tapped in such a way that they couldn't replay their guy, though. Blue source, blue source, blue source. That is a blue source. Oh, wow, that was great. Is Mike Bitcoin rich? No, not yet. He's doing... He's doing a rather slow roll with his Bitcoin. Oh yeah, that's the ticket. Multiple ninjas. This is just a ninja format. Is this round two or three? It's round two? Okay. Oh, they just cracked that thing? Wow. I mean, getting stuff ready in bursts every day, pulling weeds, branches. Yeah, that's good. I do the same thing. Like, sometimes I'll be like, I'm going to work on this for a half an hour. I'm going to work on this for a half an hour. All right, so we won that game. It feels good. Like, it feels better than, like, not doing something. And then I'm always like, all right, cool. I got this started. So now it's, like, it's more manageable now. I don't know if like doing something like 250 by 4 feet of wall. Yeah, and that's a yeah, I would I would probably also hire someone to do that. 
Uh, this hand seems great. I kind of just want to play this to keep the Cancrix, but do we care about the milling? Not really, probably, right? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm just, I'm like, I'm tempted to like, do I start taking damage from this just for like an extra mill? And I don't think so. I don't think I do. I work for eight hours on Zendikar previews and then I lay on my futon staring at the ceiling waiting for the end of the world to happen. It doesn't. Then I get up and eat some chips, rinse, repeat every day. It's nice to have routine. Good grief. We don't have anything to, to ramp into with this, so I think we're just playing Cancrix here. And I will take a point. Because this is a lot of... This is like six mils. Which could, could could add up. Especially if we hit another Cancrix next turn. Woo! Oh, just the Baron more tapped. I like it. I like that, too. Oh, yeah. Those are hits. Dead of Winter? Alright, well. They're living the dream. Can you imagine if we draw Miss Syndicate Naga and we just attack with our Cancrix and... Two mils is how much Mike has won in poker. Unfortunately false. Oh, that's the ticket right there. Oh boy. We are... What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Deep Forest Hermit. Wow, we're seeing all of your rares. One, two, three. Actually, I'm going to keep this on top because we can just play it next turn, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm tempted to kill this, but I don't think I really care that much. Yeah, that's fine. No blocks. I mean, one, two, three, four, six, seven. We have seven snow permy boys. This gets us an eighth snow permanent and draws us a card. That might just be better than beast here. We can untap. We can't do it. I don't really want to trade with this guy. I just don't think it's very good. We have eight snow permanents. And we're going to draw one next turn with this third rhyme dryad. God, we're so close. Magic banding. Thank you for the reset, buddy. It is Wednesday, my dudes. I mean, this is fine if they want to kill my Cancrix, like. 
Wow. Double deep forest hermits. Seems good. Uh, let's keep that on top. And a yog moth. <laughs> oh man, dude. And bottom. Okay. Well, we have ten, so if they can't remove anything by next turn. I'm sure they have one removal spell for something, so. Wow. Double Deep Forest Hermit, Dead of Winter, Double Saddled Rhyme Stag. Take my money. What? Two Hexstringer Bucks, because even though you hate him, he still loves you. I don't know if he does. B14, I appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> Lessens the blow. The Hexstringer blow. Alright. Come on. Of course they had that. Why wouldn't they? Yep. That's pretty much game. Like, there's nothing we can do about that. We don't get an extra turn because they had double fucking Deep Forest Hermit and a Settle Beyond, Re Settle Beyond Reality, so... I mean, this, this format has literally just picked the best rares and whoever opens better rare. <laughs> Oh, fucking amazing. That's incredible. Wow. The epitome of must be nice. Yep, that's cool. <laughs> I mean, as long as you draw one, one of your two Deep Forest Hermits and aren't able to get it back with your Grave Shifter, then I, I feel like we can probably do, do just fine. But... Keep it again. I mean, maybe Merit Lager Slumber was too ambitious, but we had, like, this is like 16 permanent snow permanents in our deck out of 23. Like, I feel like this is probably going to be the closest we can get to the sun. I'm going to keep this on top. It's just too good. Like, we can find... Like, if we get to go uh, Cancrix next turn, find a third land, Onirophage into rain, it's actually very, very good. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, we're in attacks? That was just fine. I'm sure this guy will die to a mob, but until then, next time we can rain, hit a land, becomes like a four or five. Okay, sure. Always yield to that. Actually, now I'm just going to play Pondering Mage. This is actually a pretty good draw. Like, we can play Marasa Behemoth, and, like, every other card is really good, too. So we're gonna go Tribe, Worm, Island. No Shuffles. <clears throat> 
Take four again. Pondering Mage is fantastic, yes. I concur. What does this guy do? Two, four. Exile a creature from your graveyard, create a one, two, and then you lose one life for each spider you control. Sure. This guy is a two, four with a reach, and that's it. No death touch or anything. Do I want to keep this guy? One, two, three, four. Yeah, because next turn we can Reign of Revelation and cast Lanawar Tribe. So I think that's actually fine. Well, they only actually have one snow permanent right now for Dead of Winter. So creatures get neg one, neg one. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Oh boy. T -t -t Today, Junior. So the lesson we've learned today is that Marilyn Lange's slumber, while a powerful effect, is a little ambitious. I think maybe if you can get like 20 snow permanents in your deck, it's probably pretty good, but I don't know. I feel like 16 was also pretty decent, but I mean, yep, yeah. cool. Why are you blinking that? Why would you, you don't have to blink that though, right? Like. I'm just gonna take four here. That's a weird strategy, Cotton. One, two, three, four. Rain. Hmm. Discard a forest. <clears throat> Play a forest. Oh, somebody's home. Um, yeah, I'll keep that on top. One, two, three. I mean, tribe is a blocker. Like, so, I mean, like, we either take one from not being able to block a guy. 
And now we can block these three. Take two. So we'll see. Katie has Katie has arrived. Like you do. I think attack with everything we can block everything but this. If they have a removal spell, we're dead, but Hello, what can you do? Oh my god. There's a lot of things happening right now. Katie's moving in. Doesn't don't you already live here? Oh my god. I'm writing code and I'm coming in and out of awareness of my surroundings. Just now when you said someone is home, I was verbally asked you who it was. <laughs> who is it? He said out loud in his apartment. Hi, little anger. Hi, little kindness. Oh my god. Wally Watson had to go on timeout today in his in the bedroom. Cause he snapped a hunter again. All he does is snap at Hunter. That's like his... His MO? Yeah, that's his, that's his default mode. What do we have for dinner? Hello, dear. Hello, dear. How are you? I'm alright. I'm about to lose because our opponent has a... Uh, pretty ridiculous deck. I don't Tell know what's... Tell him to suck it. No. You guys want... Thigh? And I can have Supplement? Uh, I mean, sure, that's fine. Oh, do they just cycle Baron more? All right, so they're probably dead unless they hit their the exact card they're looking for here. I mean, they can block. They have a turn to block, so but we do get to play two guys next turn. Last night I had leftover chicken barm, and Katie was like, I just want McDonald's. And today Katie was like, you guys want to get Thai and I'll just get Taco Bell? And basically, if we want something good and delicious from a reputable restaurant, she's just like, well, what fast food can I get instead? I remember that when I first started watching YouTube on YouTube, you had that intro song which said, hey, yo, this uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's, that. yeah, well, I still have that song, actually. That was actually done by a guy named Dylan. You guys, I just love crappy food. There's nothing she really wrong with does, that. dude. She won't even eat grilled cheese unless it's like literal craft slices that okay, come but in a plastic wrap. Mike, I asked Michael to get me cheese at the store, and he was like, "Well, I didn't get you the craft premium because it was six dollars, and that seemed like it was too high of quality." Six dollars for craft premium? There's a craft premium? I don't know. That's what Michael said. You know, he's not very good at looking through all the various things. And so he was like, I got you the crappy cheese that was 99 cents for like a whole thing of cheese. And it was actually too crappy for me to eat. And I told him, I was like, you won't hear me say this very often, but this is too shitty for me to consume because I really like bad food. Michael's Michael's ability to Michael's attention to detail is very, uh, it's very low. It, it leaves something to be desired, let's Are there say. details? Michael wouldn't know. Yeah. And Michael was looking through the fridge for something. It was right in front of him. So I said, it's right in front of your face. And his response was to turn to the door of the fridge and, like, and look for things there. Hmm. He's looking for something. He's like, I'm like, Michael, it's right in front of you. And he's like, oh, yeah? Let me check the door. And I'm like, no, no. In front of you doesn't mean turn to the door. It means keep looking in front of you. Oh, God. And then he was like, I'm going to make a watermelon fizzy drink. And I was like, okay, you should use the rest of the clone soda that's in there that's open. Because we have another full one sitting in the door that's not open yet. And then he was like, I'm going to use Sprite. And then I was like, there's no cold Sprites. I use a lot of Sprite. And he was like, okay. Okay, I'll use club soda. So then he goes and gets the brand new club soda out of the door and opens it and doesn't use the rest so of the So now there are two open. The Why was this so difficult? Now I die. Unless you don't have a creature, I guess. A 
Um, that's a good point. I can eat a lot of great sushi. I don't eat crappy sushi. And, like, I do appreciate good food, and I like good food, but okay. my comfort foods are, like, fast, crappy food. That's what makes me happy. Okay, they didn't have another guy, so that's good. Yeah, but the same thing happened the other day. Mike was like, hey, can I have some Mountain Dew? And I was <laughs> like, yeah, sure, get some Mountain Dew. And I'm and he, like, there was an open one on the shelf, and he doesn't use that one. He opens a brand new two-liter that was outside on the counter. So literally the same as the club soda. And I was just but like, it had occurred like 20 hours earlier. Um, <laughs> and then we told him about it in our, we have like a Denver group chat. And we were like, Michael, you can't just like open soda when there's a already soda open. And he was like, oh, okay, I understand. And so then he comes home and does the club soda thing. And I was like... He doesn't understand. <laughs> ah. But we love him. He's our son. They also have two fucking winds of abandon in their deck. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. This format is miserable already. I apologize, but this is fucking ridiculous. What is this? Modern Horizon Supreme Draft. The the Ravnica one was great because there's eight separate packs, eight separate sets that you're drafting from. This is just all Modern Horizon, so everyone has like 15 bombs in their deck. I think my wrist got fatter. I need to loosen my watch. It's really <laughs> hurting me. This watch is real hurty. It's all that right. McDonald's starting to show through. One, two, three, four, five. I wish I had one more land. That would be great. Because this guy's coming down the coming down the ramp next turn. I think it's probably just Worm. Oh, I'm in combat? Well, that's not good. <laughs> How'd you get there? How'd you get into that combat? You must have just clicked on right on to the party time. Clicked on right on to the party time. That's you what know. I always say. Midnight Meat, maybe we'll make that um, a goal for this weekend. We can take a picture for my Katie emote. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. Yep, we're just going to keep that dude on top, play our land so we can crack our waterlogged grove. Three to three right now, so... Conifer Worm should actually just utterly destroy them if we get to untap because this guy is... He gets plus seven, plus seven for each activation. So that's, that's 18, 18. Is there a new freshly brewed up? Didn't you record one last week? Last week we did. Okay, but not this we week. Got a cord one. We got a cord one this week. Got to cord it. Cord of calling. You just got to call up Where? Robert and cord it. What are you saying right now? That was funny. You didn't even laugh. I got to call up Robert and cord it? That's what yeah, you... Yeah, cord of calling. It was a joke. Oh, see, I didn't... Mm. It wasn't that good. I admit it. You don't you have to You just said laugh. it was good. You, I know, you, because in my head it was good, but the You yelled at me because it was good, laugh. and I didn't laugh, and then you said it wasn't good, and I was like, oh, all right. <sighs> <laughs> I appreciate that your honesty came around there. You were like, you know what? It wasn't good. I made a mistake. Look, did you see the reviews of this Avengers game so far? Are they bad? It's only 4.5 user score. Out of? Out of, uh, out of 10. <laughs> Oh, that's different than if it's out of five. That's correct. If it was 4.5 <laughs> out of five, I would have picked it up. Well, we can still play it. You know, I like crappy things. I do, I despise crappy games. My time is too valuable to play crappy games. It's different than eating crappy food where it's like, that's a thing you have to do every day. But like my, my time for entertainment is valuable and there's so many things I'd rather be doing than playing a crappy game. Like playing a good game that mm -hmm. I have a queue full of, you know? It looks cool on that trailer. Thank you. It does. Codine, thank you so much for the reset. 15 months time does fly when you're watching great content. I hope you enjoyed my picture earlier today. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, we just win this game. This is great. Yeah, this was, uh, this was a picture Codine sent earlier. He said, how I'm spending my remote day teaching. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, sweet. I was like, solid lesson plan. Uh, don't, don't respond to Thwok. Don't respond. Okay? Just. I don't know how to beat the double winds of abandon, double deep fiend, deep field hermit, deep what forest hermit. What are you hermit. trying to say? 
This card. They have two of this. Did you? Okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I was mimicking you because it sounded like you're in a or something. That Go seems, ahead. That seems very mean. I kind of just want to play Graveshifter, actually, just to get back this guy. We also have not seen Kotal in one game. Can I tell you what I listened to on the way home? Hmm, let me think about it. Okay. Okay. So I listened okay. to... There's a podcast called... I forgot what it's called. Is it called Butt Stuff? <laughs> Watch What Crappens. And it's about these two guys who typically do, like, spoofs on um, reality TV shows that they watch. But this episode, they interviewed Christine from Selling Sunset to find out how much of, like, what's on the show is real. And uh -huh. it was very interesting. And it was exactly 37 minutes. See, I'm not, why, I don't know why you'd listen to that stuff when we haven't finished the season yet. So though. they are only on season. They just finished season two. Okay. So we were at the same point. Because okay. I asked... Because Christina at work recommended it to me, and she was like, "You only have to have seen through season two. So they didn't talk about anything. In wow, you three. guys really talked about. It. What did she say about the boys? She said it's great, and you'll love it. It's a little violent, which is my only concern for you. Violence doesn't bother me. Well, there's definitely stuff we've no, watched, and you're yeah, like, "This is too gory to for me." Uh, what was what? What was the thing we watched? Did we watch something, and you're like, "This is really violent." There's definitely something that, that that was. Yeah, I don't like women's violence. Okay, that's I don't that that's not that's not what we're talking about here. But I feel like some of the things that we've watched I haven't liked because of that. Remember? That was the um the twelve years of sleep. Right. But then like see that's what another thing I was wondering. I don't think she liked Twelve Years of Slave very much, which is one of my favorite movies. But then she's fine watching Handmaid's Tale, so it's kind of weird. No, there was multiple episodes where I was like, I can't watch this right now. But you never complained about it. Yeah, but I felt like how well done the show was to show all the different aspects outweighed that part of it. As opposed to the Emmy-nominated, Emmy award-winning 12 Years a Slave. Yeah. Got, gotcha. That wasn't well done enough, I guess. I mean, I can say I don't like something. But I'd like to have a justifiable, like, like actual reason where I can be like, oh, that's a logical reason that makes yeah. a lot of sense. Instead of, like, me felt weird. Because that doesn't... Me felt weird. Yeah. That's... Is that what I said? Uh, you said It sounded similar to that, yeah. Mm. And I was like, what does that mean? She was like, just me felt weird. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, <laughs> violence doesn't bother me. Clip that. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I see, like, gore doesn't bother me because I see very gory things on a day-to-day -day basis that are much worse than most of the things that you see on TV. And so... <laughs> don't, don't, don't encourage him. Don't encourage him. And you know I like crappy things, so why can't I just like crappy movies too? But that doesn't... I'm not... I've never stopped you from liking crappy movies. Well, maybe I just don't have it in me to watch better things. Maybe it's just beyond the scope of my... But we're not talking about any... No, no crappy movies are being discussed right now. We're talking about Handmaid's Tale That's what I'm versus 12 Years a Slave. Well, I'm Both saying maybe I'm are... not capable of liking good things in life. She also did not like Rushmore either, which was really unfortunate for me because it's I told one of my you going in movies. that I don't like that film style very much what film style though most things by that director like what what else have you seen I've seen yeah the okay. <laughs> no I was trying to think of what the actual name is because in my head I think of it as the ocean movie um Life Aquatic. Yeah. <laughs> the Ocean Movie. Yeah. The Ocean Movie. And actually, those are probably the only two things, but I did. Wow, that's funny because Steve Zissi, Life Aquatic is not one of his, his better better movies. Mm. Also, V14, please no spoilers because we, as as we have discussed, she has not seen it. 
Of what? Which one? Somebody's taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sure, and I'm sure they're gonna like do some ephemerate nonsense on the deep. Yep, fucking of course. <sighs> Nothing like having multiple deep forest hermits. Maybe I would like Isle of Dogs because it's about dogs. Is it about dogs? It's probably not even about dogs. It's literally about dogs. Okay, well maybe I'd like that one. Royal Royal Tenenbaums is one of my favorite movies as well. I mean, I'll keep giving them a try. So if we make this, we have five, six, seven blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We take one, two, three, four, five, six. We're not dead. Oh, okay, it doesn't. That, I won't read it, that. it rebounds, I guess, but that's fine. <clears throat> Moonlight Kingdom is also very good. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just not cultured. I just suck. Well, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> no one's saying that. She sucks. It's terrible. <laughs> This guy just played a turn one hex stringer against me. Wow, welcome to the club. Is this the same guy or new guy? Same guy. This is the same guy. This is the last round. What are you doing with your face? What's happening right now? Yeah, I did. They, they blink the spring bloom druid instead? Oh, they probably just have the five mana card that they're going to exile this and then exile, like, mine. And then just kill us with it so that they get a, a third deep forest hermit. Yep. Why does everyone got to yuck a person's yum? Did I but I didn't. Like, yum? that's the thing. Like, I didn't criticize anything you liked. Not one thing that you enjoy did I criticize. I so, I'm... oh, look. Guys. Guys. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so Hex Drinker, Hermit, Hermit, Winds, Winds, Yawgmoth. What else did we see? What else? What other fucking absolute nonsense did we see? Wow. Cool. So two out of three, two out of three matches this draft, I have lost two Hex Drinkers. Ah, oh, boy. That's pretty cool. Dead of Winter. Isn't wow. that what that board game is called, too? There's a board game called Dead of Winter? I think so. I've never heard of such a thing. Hmm. If this gave Trample, I'd be all over it. But right now, I think, well, they're just doing, they're just doing a little yeah. better than us. And this guy just becomes an 8-8 next turn. Or a 6-6 six, six with protection from everything. So that's kind of cool. <sighs> I mean, I don't feel like we were way dead. They have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 guys. We have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 guys. Like, they have 3 more guys than us. Like... You did make the statement about why she disliked it. it. Seemed to Mala because she couldn't quantify it or put it into words, something specific, and ascribe it to the camera style, which you mocked by asking what else she could think of that was also the same. I didn't. I don't remember ascribing to the camera style. I don't even think I mentioned camera style. I did. Oh. No, you said you. I don't... said I don't like that film style. Right, but that doesn't necessarily mean camera. Like that doesn't necessarily mean like cinematography. It could just mean that kind no, of... No, but I think you just, like, discounted that as a reason to not like it, I think. Well, because I don't, know what, I don't know what that film style means. Like, I don't know what that means. You know what I mean? Like, that's... I, I don't feel, I don't feel like Rushmore... I don't Rushmore... either, but I think you... F I feel like if you watch a Wes Anderson movie, you're like, I know this was made by Wes Anderson. And for, for some reason, I just don't really enjoy what But as someone makes. who's only seen one other Wes Anderson movie, I feel like that's... And that's why I said I'd give you... I'd give it more chances. I'd watch more things. Okay, that's fine. I'm not saying you didn't. I am just responding to the thing you did say. You know what I mean? Like, you said a thing. I'm responding to that. You don't have to defend. go further and defend that again. 
I'm just, I know because I said I would give it a, another chance, but I just I don't know. I haven't liked those two movies that I've watched by him. You yeah, play magics. So like this guy's gonna take us to one automatically. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, four, six, seven, eight. So we need three blockers here, and I don't think we're gonna get those. No, you're just gonna get two blockers. Yeah. But maybe he won't count. But is there anything you can draw to deal with Hex Rinker? No. It's got protection for instance, like there's literally nothing. This is the only card in our deck that we can actually draw to okay. kill it, so. <sighs> Please stop. That's really... It's just piercing. Come here. Dad hates you right now. That's not You're true. You're not allowed to be in here and be loud. I'm just going to play this because it gives us the most options. Do you want to play Frostwalla too? <sighs> stop! Watson! Oh my god! This room. Never come back. Oh my god, stop. Hey! Now you're getting sprayed. <laughs> now you're getting sprayed with water. Hey, don't come looking to me. He's like, Mom, Dad was mean. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Absolutely incredible. Oh dear. Well, they're gone now. What are you gonna do? I think it's because Michael walks in the door so slow. <laughs> it's like, get the fuck inside. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Maybe our opponent can't have nine bomb rares next time, but... Uh, but they might. But they probably will. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.